how do you buy your car under a business name? So there's a very specific strategy and a very specific tactic on how to do it. Get a pen and paper. You want to move those vehicles out of your name. It's right for you. And again, you probably shouldn't make that decision. You should go to askoral.com, ask our team, get a professional expert opinion from a tax strategist based on what you make, the rest of your assets and what you're doing. So there's three things I want to talk about when I'm talking about buying a car, which by the way, I have another video here. You can go up to the search bar when this video is over and how to buy a car with a credit card. So a whole nother way to do it. Um, but again, why not use a corporate credit card? So let's talk about how to get it in a corporate name from the beginning. The three things I want to talk about, what do you need to do? What do you need to do this? Like what's the paperwork and the documents? What do you need to get it done? Using corporate credit or income for the purchase. How do you actually get the money in the right bank account to make the spend? A lot of you still have too much money in your personal account because you haven't moved it to your corporate account legally and properly. And then what are the advantages? Why do this? Why put it under a business name? And at some level, if you're big enough and you have enough kids and enough vehicles, you might want to consider corporate fleet insurance. And that's a whole different game. But I can tell you the liability protection around it is extraordinary because it's corporate insurance. So what do you need to do it? Well, you can't be a sole proprietor. So you either have to be in the United States, they're LLCs, S Corps, C Corps, or limited partnerships. So you have to be a company. If you're in Canada, it's a numbered company, limited proprietary corporation. There are different names around the world, but in principle, you can do any of this. So you do need to get your tax ID number. You need to get the corporate documents articles of incorporation and you need to open a bank account. So all the basic uh, formations. So click on the link below to go to generational wealth systems, talk to one of our experts about getting incorporated and which one is the best for you. If you are in construction, I just want to point to a lot of you in construction or you have a lot of vehicles, a lot of the operating companies are the core construction company and you have uh, say a skidster and you've got you know, trucks and trailers and all of that, you would have a separate company typically for equipment. And then it would be an equipment and leasing program between the operating company and the equipment company. So there's a lot of strategy to what we're talking about. You just don't go look around this internet called the bathroom wall where everybody's writing anything. You've got to have a team of experts put it together with your total plan. This is just one piece of a total plan for you. So how do you use your corporate credit or income from the company? So first of all, if you have an established corporate credit, again, go to asklaurel.com, ask a question, say, hey, who I can I talk to about establishing corporate credit? You can go to Dun & Bradstreet by yourself. You're not gonna wanna stay there. You wanna end up in paid act. You wanna end up with other places. Also, you wanna get just basic corporate credit cards, American Express, Discover, get you know a variety of cards, get one from the bank that has your account. They should give you your first credit card for the company. Usually beginning companies can get depending on your credit too, between 500 to 2,500. If you're more mature, you can easily get a $25,000 limit for your corporate card. So not difficult to do, it's just again, different to do. So using your corporate credit and your, your primary income from the business to buy is completely viable. You're gonna have to supply your uh, corporate documents and you put the vehicle when you purchase, even if it's a used vehicle, in the company name from the beginning. Now that requires different documents when you go to your DMV to register the vehicle because it's gonna be registered as a corporate vehicle, not a personal vehicle. So there's a little bit of difference in that. And I would just call your local DMV. I've seen some DMVs not have require a lot of paperwork. I've seen some DMVs say you have to bring everything, your operating agreement, your articles of incorporation, all your documents from the SOS. I mean, all of it. So find out what they need. So you actually set it up right from the beginning. So knowing that you have to register and insure, sort out locally what those are for you. And uh, they'll give you corporate insurance. I think a lot of you have a misnomer that you can't can't get insurance once you're inside the company. It's better and it's better value and it's deductible inside the company. So before I tell you all of the final list of all the benefits of doing it this way, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click the notification button. We talk about everything money and business on this channel. So if there's not a topic that you have seen, make sure you search it first and go put it in the comment section and we'll be right back out here offering you content and the next time we do our video shoot just for you to create content for you on your request. And again, you give those requests either in the comments below or at asklaurel.com. The other thing too, if you want to binge watch for a while, you know, the holidays coming up or holidays just ended, whenever you want to do it on a weekend, 25 hours will earn you $750 of tuition credit where you can apply to new tuition, 
to learn and be mentored by me or our expert team of coaches and facilitators. So we got a lot going on. 2023 is going to be a great year. You need to be set up for it. Your vehicles need to be set properly into it so you can do proper deductions. So what are the advantages of using your company name? Well, liability protection is number one. Right? I'm going to just shoot that right off the top. It's a deduction. The payments are deductible. There's a portion if you use the car personally, you're going to have to pay for. Again, your tax strategist will give you the formula and how you make the payments. You can write off your mileage. You can write off your maintenance. And the last, which is probably the biggest, is privacy right? Because as long as you have a company name that doesn't have your name attached, your name's not front and center to a car. My name's not front and center on anything I own. My companies are. So the companies are up front and you're behind it. Again, if you want to own nothing and control it all, this is another way that you get to do this. When it comes to getting your kids 16 years old, again, you got to have some expert help with that. Do you put them inside your company? Again, you got liability and asset issues to like look at. It all depends on your overall plan. If you hear the message, it's get expert advice from our team. We have a huge team that will support you in doing this right. So if the vehicle is over 6,000 pounds, you can actually write the whole thing off and you're getting a massive initial de deduction that first year you buy it. Then what I would do, and I've done, is you go back and you refinance it, pull out your original cash so you can keep that invested and then just write off the payments. And so, yeah, you're going back into good debt, but you're using the vehicle, especially if you're flipping vehicles every three to five years and you're not burning them out. I mean, you want to have that as part of the asset of the company not yours. So lots to think about. So don't go crazy and buy some sports car. If you're in the construction business, you're going to have a hard time writing that off to the IRS. So be in the appropriate vehicle for what you are doing. You know, Mary Kay has a great gig going, right? You can earn yourself a pink Cadillac. I personally wouldn't necessarily want a pink Cadillac, not kind of my style, but for those women, they can write that whole thing off. It is the greatest earnings to put that money and to have that car in the company name. A lot of those Mary Kay women don't do it that way. They actually own it personally. Wrong answer, put it in the company. So let us help you go to asklaurel.com at any time, ask a question, share this channel with all of your friends and family. Let's get financially and business literate this year. Talk to you tomorrow.